of mine, you know, you know Ask me what I'm doing just grinding Haters wanna hate, let them hate, never mind them Be more pins, tryna reach the next plateau And I can't stop till I achieve my goals Keep a couple feeds inside the photos So official with the vibe, you can pick up my zone Hold on for a minute, let me count mine, you know, you know What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer, and I am back with another freaking video. If you guys have not subscribed to the Cryer family, all you gotta do is turn that bell on so you subscribe to the channel. But being subscribed to the channel only means you're subscribed. In order to get the notifications every time I drop a video on the Cryer family, you must turn on that bell with the vibrating symbol. That way, every time I put a video, all of you guys, I mean all of you guys, will get the notifications. Also, guys, I will be dropping the link to my new prank channel, it's called Damien Cryer. If you are not subscribed to that channel, man, please go on over to that channel right now and subscribe to that channel, man. And if you go over to the channel and you don't subscribe, at least smash the like button and check out some of the videos over there, guys. It's all new content coming your way all of 2023. When I said it was gonna be a change coming in 2023, I was not joking. I've been dropping videos every day on that channel. Also, I'll be dropping a link to my reaction channel in the description box down below so you guys can also go on over there most importantly guys i have a new facebook page it's called damien crier going over there right now i'm uploading new videos new content on the new damien crier facebook page guys all you got to do is type in damien crier in the search engine on facebook and go over there and all you got to do is just press that follow button there ain't no subscribe button all that crazy stuff just simple press the follow button every time a video drops on the Damian Cryer Facebook page you guys will get the notifications every single time guys so as you guys know I had recently visited Fort Wayne Indiana where I was born and raised I went down there to visit my son Darian it was well long overdue guys I'm gonna tell you guys so I made it back to Houston about one o'clock this morning and I'm not gonna lie to you guys the trip there was really comfortable and coming back was extremely comfortable I'm gonna tell you guys why last time I went to Fort Wayne which was several months ago I had a new pickup truck but it was a Ford Ranger which was a lot smaller than the truck that I'm currently sitting in now so I got rid of that truck a few months ago and I got the 2022 Ford F-150 which is extremely big it's like it's really comfortable it's a lot of room so it made the drive there and back extremely comfortable although it was a nice smooth ride i did see some crazy stuff man that i was not expecting to see i seen some really horrible what well, i seen a very horrible car accident that was um sad to say it was a fatal um car crash um and that you know it was multiple people uh as far as fatalities involved in the car crash um I did pull over for a minute because like we all had to pull over and you can see on the side of the road they had sheets over you know people that was laying off to the side so prayers out to those families who lost their loved ones man it's always hard to see stuff like that you know people coming back from visiting from out of town for new years or traveling back home for the holidays and stuff and to have something that tragic to happen it's just really really awful um so prayers out to those families man so So guys, I finally, I went to $3 generals. I mean, no, I went to $3 stores today. Everybody was out of mops. They either had the bottom part of the mop, which looks like a wig, but they didn't have a handle. I'm like, what is going on here? Who the heck sells half of mops? But the place that said that the sticks didn't come in. So I went to the store called Dollar General and they actually had the mop. And I had to pay $16 for the mop. It's one of these little, I guess it's a little fancy little mop. They got this little twist handle on it right here where you don't have to put your hand on it to wring it out old school so i'm like man 16 dollars on a dang on mop man so i decided before i go to the crib and start mopping up because as you know i got off the highway i want that first thing i like to do even though i was only gone a couple of days i like to clean up a lot man even though it's not dirty but um i decided well on the way home let me stop and buy me a, a lottery ticket so first time i'm buying a hundred dollar scratch off ticket $100 scratch off ticket from the Texas lottery. So I'm gonna try my luck here and see if I can win Some big money this ticket right here. Oh So this is the 20 million dollar supreme 
It says prizes start at $150. So I don't know what type of luck I'm gonna have, man, but today is Friday and I'm gonna try my luck, man. So guys, wish me luck. Who knows, man? Maybe if I win big, maybe I can help somebody out. So you got three spots right here at the top part. You can try one, two, three. It says uh, scratch the top area. And if you match two identical prize amounts, you win the prize shown. The bottom part, you got one, two, three, four, five chances to win the bottom part. You have to match up one of the numbers, one of the five numbers or all five numbers with any of these bottom, bottom parts. So let's see, you got one, two, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. You have 28 slots that you can scratch. So you can win a prize multiple ways on here. And also if you find one of these, I don't know if you guys can see it because of the glare from the sun. I'll just tell you, it's a little diamond symbol on the back. So if you find a diamond symbol in any of these spots right here, it's an automatic $150. So imagine if you find all diamonds, all diamonds all the way down, that's $150 a whole bunch of times. So we finna jump into the sticker real quick. I'm gonna scratch the first top part and see if we have anything. The top part usually don't have anything. It's a 500 and a 300, no win. There's a 150 and a 300, and no win. There's a 150 and a 500 spot, no win. I hate the glare, guys. I think it's the ticket too, because the ticket is real shiny. You guys can see that. So we finna go for the bottom part, guys. If nothing else, hopefully I can at least get one diamond. We got number six, okay. So far, I'm not seeing a diamond. One here at all. Hopefully I can run across one, maybe two. I usually haven't, I actually haven't been playing the lottery a whole lot lately, guys. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. I haven't been playing the lottery too much at all. I normally, when I come to the gas station, it's hard for me not to, oh, I got a diamond. When I come to the gas station, it's hard for me not to buy a lottery ticket. But lately, I've just been like, I'll get my gas and whatever else I gotta get, and I just keep it moving, man. I usually don't even buy tickets that much anymore. There we go, you guys can see it a little bit. There's a diamond right there. My finger's at. So that right there is worth $150. So now I got one, two, three, four, five numbers at the top. I can try to match up to the bottom part. Let me make sure that's 150. Yep, that's 150. Let me see if I can show you guys that. That's $150 up under the diamond. So let's see. So worst case scenario, worst case scenario, I made my $100 back plus a $50 profit. So let's see if we can match some of these numbers up. So we got a number 40 and a number 25. So if we can match up a 40 and or a 25, or both of them. I don't see a 40, nor do I see a 25. 15 and 28 is the last two numbers, 15 or 28. I got a number 16. Oh, whoa, stop the press. I got a number 15, guys, right there. I have a number 15 right there. Let's scratch it. Oh, another 150 bucks, guys. Let me show you. So you guys know I'm not capping. So I spent $100 on a ticket. Ooh, come on, focus. See the diamond right here at the bottom? 150. And you match the number 15, which is another 150. So our $100 investment turned into $300 guys so I would say not playing that lottery in a while not buying scratch-offs in a while I did pretty good I spent a hundred bucks and I tripled my money guys I got two hundred dollars profit plus my hundred dollars back how dope is that guys I'm finna ready to head home so I can start mopping I have a very very long day today I'm actually going to dinner tonight man so we're gonna keep the camera rolling for you guys but I'm going to We've been doing a lot of Brazilian steakhouses. Well, I ain't gonna say a lot, but we did like a couple of Brazilian steakhouses very recently for you guys, and you guys love them so much. So tonight, Friday night dinner is gonna be, I'll just show you guys when I get there. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So guys, I told you I was going to a restaurant tonight, and guess who I got with me? What up, L? Hi, I mean, you already know it, L. I'm not L no I'm more. just saying, you crowned and stuff. You got that hair looking hey. good, girl. Is that stuff real? Of course. Girl, is that real? 
Why ain't nobody trying to look at that down there? Quit trying to show your little stuff off, man. Piss me off. I'm, I'm going to show your feet soon. She start acting funny. So, where are we going? What is this place? We're going to Beaniana's. You ever been there? No, Beaniana's. Friday night dinner. Friday. I've been to a place similar, but not like the actual place. So this is the real deal. Yeah, right? this is the so real deal. All the other deal. places are like the knockoff. Yeah, they did knockoff, baby. Listen, you see that sign right there? I told Eric about this restaurant Be on the phone, and I couldn't even pronounce it right. What did I call it? Beanianas. Be Beanianas. Beanianas. They said Benny. I don't know. Benny Anyway, it's even look at the sign. I still can't pronounce it. I was telling Erica I ate here before, like twice with the Prince family. They invited me here, but I never actually went here, like on a date and ate. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. And Erica's never been here. And no, no. The the most important thing right now is we ain't got no kids. You mm. forgot. Where the kids at, guys? So Erica was like. I want to go to this place where they cook the food in front of you. And I'm thinking to myself, she just don't know. This is one of the places they cook the food and they got lobster tails and all that good stuff, guys. So we are a little bit late for our reservations, but it's all good. Erica called them. Actually, we canceled twice because, well, we didn't cancel once because me and Erica both was on the road. Not only was that. We, yeah, we pushed the time. So we pushed oh. the time so guys, we were talking about not having kids earlier, man. It feels so nice to be able to go out. Like, we go out with the kids or without the kids. It don't even matter. If we decide that we want to go out to eat, if we got the kids with us, they're going to go with us. But if they're not with us, we're going to definitely enjoy it. I'm going to go back to my crib for a little while. After dinner. A little nightcap. I'm going to have a little glass of uh, Stella Rose or something. I like that. Or you want to uh, oh, I got Hey, she changed the subject. My Quick. Oh, your girls fell out. Oh, your girls fell out. That stuff look nice though. It do. <laughs> Whoa. I remember when I was in middle school. It, it might have happened when I was like before I got to middle school. But I remember some girls, like I didn't pay attention until I got to middle school, high school. Some girls who had really long hair. Some females with shorter hair used to get pissed off, and like when they get in a the fight, they would actually pull their hair. If they fight, that's the first thing they pull is their hair and wrap around their like hand. So you put that on before you get in a fight? You zip it up so if they pull, or they pull it this. Don't ask me how I know, but I know. Mm. Wow, I'm starting something new. So when they get ready to fight, they get ready to pull their hair all the way back. Right. Well, you can either put it in a bun or a ponytail, but they can slide off too. The most safest thing to do is to have a hoodie on and put it over and zip it up. The last time you got in the fight? Right before I became a police officer. Did you? Did you whip that ass? Don't you lie. Don't lie. Don't video? lie. Huh? Yeah, I did. You whip that ass? Yes. Oh my gosh, she was like way bigger than me. Have you ever got jumped before? Because I have. I got jumped before, literally. No, but when I was with a girl, her friend pulled me off by my hair because she was mad because I was being her. Why do people do that, man? Like, if they see that they friends sit, I, I don't actually seen fights where two people was fighting, one person was getting the best of the other person on the ground, and then they friend jumped in and started fighting. Bro, that's an unfair fight, man. That is so unfair. Yeah, life's not fair, you know? Yeah, that's true. Life's not fair, like, man. You know what I mean? You look real, 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 real fabulous, man. I mean, what's going on with you? What's this glow thing about you? That's something you can tell me. I asked you before. I think you lied. Well, you mean injections? No. I ain't been able to keep my food down. You ain't been able to keep your food down? Nope. Um, so what do you mean by that? Like... Listen, I'm just really hungry. I've been hungry all day. <laughs> I ain't been able to keep your food down. Have you been eating crackers in the morning? No, I've been licking salt. <laughs> you ain't been having a taste for like pickles and peanut butter and stuff like that, have you? <laughs> are, you ready, are you ready to try your little egg soup? Uh -huh. My curls are dry. They're gonna tell about some curls, man. Women, man, women. Them and they makeup. She gotta make sure she eat pretty, look pretty, everything. But she Look, she got a little egg soup. That's the Chinese egg soup, girl. Go ahead, try that. Hey, it don't taste like chips. It don't taste like chips. <laughs> hey, it's actually pretty good. 
Show it to me if it don't blur up. Yeah, y'all see like the little stuff in it? They got like the little green onion. No, those are are those green onions or like little peppers? It's green onions. Oh, you know the, the, the uh, long thin onions. Like oh green yeah, onions. yeah. Those are sweet onions, aren't they? No, they're green. I thought they were sweet, like the little long skinny green ones. They not round like a regular onion. No. Like yeah, like your brother Sean here, like an onion here. Man, Sean ain't gonna do nothing to me. He got an onion head. That's why I called him Mr. Skinny last night. I know he hurt. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I'm with you. <laughs> See, that's what you get trying to be too cute. Why women that's cute already? They be trying to get my phone. Okay, that shirt is fitting nice. Mm. That shirt fitting real nice. Can we have mustard sauce for steak and chicken? Ooh, mustard sauce for steak and chicken. Now, what's the name of these right here? Chicken tempero. Chicken tempero. Oh, you can't eat with them soft fish. I, I, I can't do it. Like they good? Like you haven't eaten mariachi. Let me try that. Let me try that. Let me try that. Let me try that. I got this, man. I know how to do this, man. I'm a master. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Y'all see that, right? I got that. I got that, yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's falling apart. It's falling apart. Yeah, three sauce. You can drop it in there later. That is good. Let's with that's really good though. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Really good. Bring it out, y'all. Our chef is here. We're about to get this started. I'm gonna have the camera pointed down a lot. So I don't get people's face in my video, guys. So don't be upset if all y'all see is the food. What is this stuff, Erica? Oh, this is cabbage or something? Yeah, but he said that's ginger sauce. Over there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it was originally two orders, so we ended up getting one. My favorite zucchini. Zucchini. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Egg Egg roll. I like that. <laughs> 
Watch this, watch this. Oh, that was no, you missed it. That was sorry. I think you're gonna do it again. Oh. Explosion. Explosion. She done dipped in my tray and took my shrimp, man. She done got me for my shrimp. Look at that. I got a dig for mine. I ain't got no, um... Here we go. Yeah, we'll get another fork here soon. See, they're gonna see now. I'm stuffing for them. See, they're all off the tails. My shrimp right there. 
Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. That's up. That's all. Look, look. Y'all stick the on? Oh, those are ours? Well, not all of it. But that's us doing it. I think so. Now, we got three a lot of them. So I don't want them all out of here now. I couldn't read what it said, but it's my glass. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, look at that mushroom. Ooh, my girl love mushrooms and onions. My girl love mushrooms and onions. She loves the mushrooms. That is another sauce that you can use also. The sauces are all good. Like I said, you can pour them, like when you get everything mixed, if you want, you can, you can actually pour both of your sauces over everything. <laughs> yep, you can start. It's like some type of mustard. Oh, it's definitely good. But yeah, we can eat whatever we want. Or you can wait till everything comes, but we can eat whatever we want, babe. Because the food gonna keep coming. Ma'am, check it out, y'all. Got that lobster tail on deck. Mm-hmm. Looking good. Erica, she didn't pour her rice in her bowl um, on her plate. She gonna be cool with it. They didn't bring you up your pork yet? No. Ooh. I'm waiting on the chicken. Ooh, look at that steak. Ooh, that girl got her steak well done. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. Professional. Check it out, man. Check it out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But well, guys, I'm sorry. I'm about to turn this off for now, guys. But we'll turn the camera back on later on. It's time to smash up. I'm going to see y'all in a little bit.